topic is called solving a percent mixture problem using a linear equation. So these can be um, kind of hard to do. And I like to set up a table of values to help me set up the problem. So we have um, two factory plants that are making TV panels. Yesterday, plant A produced 5,000 fewer panels than plant D P did. 3% of the panels from plant A and 2% of the panels from plant B were defective. How many panels did plant B produce if the two plants together produced 500 defective panels? So we set up the this table and PS, please subscribe to my channel and like any videos that you find helpful. So I'm gonna put an A for plant A, a B for plant B and T for total. So plant A had 5,000 fewer panels than plant B did. And we're looking for how many panels plant B need produced. So we're gonna put an X for B and then we're gonna take away 5,000 for A. The percentage, um, so these are the panels that they produced. It's gonna be hard for me to write. <laughs> the percent that were defective and then the actual count of the defective uh, panels. Okay, so the percent of A uh, was 3%. So we'll put 3% here. The percent of plant B was 2%. And the two plants together produced 500 defective panels. So 500 is going to go right here. Okay, so we can look at um, let's see, we can make how many defective uh, panels were produced from plant A by doing 3% of X minus 5,000. And then the number of defective panels from plant B is 2% of uh, how many were produced. So when we add those together, that should give us, um, let's see, is this gonna work 500? So we have 0 0.03 times X minus 5,000 plus 0 0.02 X, and that has to equal 500. I like to get rid of my decimals. Um, they're in the hundreds place. So if we multiply every term by 100, we'll get rid of our decimals. So we have three times X minus 5,000 plus, and then this is gonna be two X equals, now we're times in this by 100, so it's gonna be 50,000. So we will distribute the three to get three X minus 15,000 plus two X equals this 50,000. When we add the three X and the two X, we get five X. We're gonna add 15,000 to both sides. which is 65,000. Now we just need to divide um, 65,000 by five, and that give us, gives us 13,000. So that should be our answer for how many um, panels that plant B made. Okay, so let's try another one. Um, we just want to make sure that we're setting up our table correctly. So Brian invested his savings into two investment funds. Let's change a different color. There we go. The 20000 that he invested in fund A returned a 3% profit. The amount that he invested in fund B returned a 10% profit. How much did he invest in fund B if both funds together returned a 5% profit? Okay, so we're going to have... Um, fund A, fund B, and then the total. The amount that he invested, the percent that it returned, and the, the actual profit or the amount. So for A, kind of looks better if you do that, okay. $20,000 was invested in fund A. We don't know B, but we do know the total is X plus 20,000. The percentage of profit for A is 3%. I'm going to put the percent there so we don't forget to change that to a decimal. And B returned a 10%. And 
and together it was 5%. So the actual profit, we multiply the percent um, by the invested amount. So 3% is 0 0.03 and we times that by 20,000. And then we do 10% 10, 10%, oops, that's 0 0.1 times X and then 5% for the total. If we uh, add the two profits from A and B, that will give us the total profit. So we're gonna add these two together to get the last one. So we have 0 0.03. You know what, let's just get rid of the, well, I'll go ahead and write it out so you can see. So 0 0.03 times 20,000. And then we're gonna add it to 0.1x and that has to equal 0 0.05x plus 20,000. Now let's multiply the entire equation by 100. Oh, I'm wondering if we didn't change those two decimals and we just left them three, 10, and five. That would work. That way we don't have to keep multiplying every time. So we have three times 20,000 plus 10X equals five times X plus 20,000. So we distribute, we get 5x plus 100,000 equals, and then 3 times 20,000, 60,000 plus 10x. No, I'm running out of room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 5x, and then I'm going to subtract 60,000. So I'm doing two steps in one. Normally, we do one of those at a time. Um, these will cancel and this will cancel. So we're left with 10x minus 5x, which is 5x. And then we're left with 100,000 minus 60,000, which is 40,000. And then we divide both sides by 5 to get 8,000. So the amount that was invested in fund B is $8,000. Okay, we should do one more. Um, just for a little added help. So in the lab, Martina has two solutions that contain alcohol and is mixing them each uh, with each other. She uses four times as much solution A as solution B. Solution A is 19% alcohol and solution B is 14% alcohol. How many milliliters of solution B does she use if the resulting mixture has 360 milliliters of pure alcohol? So this is a lot like the first one we did. So we have solution A and solution B, and then the total. So it says that she uses four times as much solution A as solution B. So we don't know B, but A is four times that. Um, let's see, the percent of alcohol that A uses is 19%, B is 14%. And the resulting mixture is 360 milliliters. So we can add, uh, we can get the percentage here, 0 0.19. Oh, this is why we want to change them to decimals first. And 0 0.14 times X. We add those together and that has to equal 360. So we have um, 0 0.19 times 4X plus Fourteen hundredths x has to equal 360. Now, if we multiply the whole equation by 100, we get 19 times 4x plus 14x equals, now we're multiplying um, 360 by 100, so we get 36,000. So let's just do a real, some real quick calculations here. What's 19 times 4? We'll use this calculator we have. 76. We have 76x plus, no, I didn't even write the six here. Plus 14x, and that has to equal 36,000. So then 76 plus 14 is 90. So we have 90x equals 36,000, and we'll divide 36,000 by 90. What I like to do, we'll cancel one zero, 39 goes into 36 four times, so it'll be 400. 
So um, they used 400 milliliters of solution B. And that's the end of the lesson.